Hi guys, welcome to Python Basics course. In this course, we'll be covering all the basics of Python, whether you are a new programmer or you are planning to start Python. So this course is absolutely for you. So in the first lecture, we'll be taking a look at our Hello World program, or it's just called as our first program. So you know that whenever we start something, we have to take the initiative. So in each programming language, if you're if you're starting to learn any programming language, you have to write your first program and that's basically called as a hello world program. So in a hello world program or when we are coding our first program, we basically need to print out or to display hello world on the screen and that's being turned as hello world program. Okay, I hope this is clear. And now, you know that in Python or in any other language, we can do that. So now you see that whenever you do something, you need to have a tool, right? And in programming, right, we have tools and that are basically called as functions. And each function or each tool has a specific task. So in Python, we use a specific function to display something on screen and that is a print function so simply type in print and empty parentheses then type your message that you want to display on screen so i want to display hello world on the screen and remember to enclose this text within double quotes otherwise we'll get an error right or it will lead us to another concept that we should not be discussing in this lecture so whatever you want to print out on the screen just enclose that in double cuts along with double parentheses and and write and that is being preceded by print function i hope this is clear this is the syntax of hello world program simply type your function name that is print and then empty parentheses and inside of those parentheses you need to type your message and close in double quotes so if i run this code we're going to get hello world on our screen so let's just do it and see the result i want to run this code let me run it and as you can see down below here guys we got our output and a result that is hello word. That's actually a good news for all of us. Congratulations to everyone who has just learned how to code or how to or how to write your hello word program in Python. That's an absolute great news. So well that was about print function, that was about our hello world program. Well, there's another concept, a basic concept that I would like to touch. Well, what is that? That is about com that is about comments. So what are comments? What are basically comments, right? Comments are actually a single line or more than a single line, right? That's being ignored by the compiler during the execution, right? Right. So why why be having comments? Well, it's for you. It's for you to help you, right? It's for you and for other viewers who view your code who read through your code if you're writing a complex code right if you're writing a very lengthy code a complex program so comments would help you to navigate through your code or to understand each block of your code so suppose uh, this is a block of code or you can simply insert a comment a comment here will be a suitable comment here will be hello world program so if anybody opens up my code that would definitely understand that this code is all about hello world program so we insert comments in certain portions of our code just to help you understand your code that's the purpose of comments i hope this is clear so that was all for a uh, now I mean that was our first lecture and in the upcoming lecture we will take a look at what are variables and how to work with variables that's another basic concepts as you know that we're, we're going through the basics course of python so we have to cover all of these topics so 
Are you with me? Do you want to complete this course with me? Right? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this lecture, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe me for more awesome content. And I will see you on the other one. Thank you for watching.